called Rally 2010. It used to be called Edmund 2010. But I have took over his place, and this is all mine, guys. Everything. And that is where my uh, band is going to be, and they are practicing for the actual show. Well, guys, Edmund used to be the star of the show, but then after, I became the star of the show, the real star. And, guys, well, I have a special guest today on my show, and his name is Edmund Jose. Come on in, Edmund. Come on. Please, Bradley. This is not the Bradley S show. This is the We Report show. Let's start this thing. You ready? Yeah. Bradley, Bradley, you naughty Bradley, you please go on. Please. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Divine S. And I'm Bradley S. So and we, we are, are the We Reporters. Reporters. Well, guys, as you all know, we go all around the globe in the center in the snow to find and show you guys top personalities. And well, guys, we have found the t top TV personality for you guys. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Go on. Everybody go on. Portuguese knows this man, Edmund Jose. That's me, folks. Well, God. hey, Edmund, how are you today? Fine, thank you. May I sit down? I'm so tired. Sure, you may. Thank you. Sit beside my life. Okay. Well. Yeah. I've been working all day. In the morning, doing my own breakfast, and then doing my own ironing, and here, working like hell. Like, like hell. <laughs> how sad. Yeah. I feel the pain. Well, before we start, we have to tell you something. Ready? We are going to take over your show. Sorry. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I, it's okay. I, no, no, I, I keep the money, you keep the show. No, no, that, that, <laughs> that doesn't no, you work. You pay the taxes. You keep the show, and I'll keep the money. No, it's actually like this. We keep the money and the show. And oh, your right. job, and your clothes, and your ironing board, and your breakfast. And this beautiful watch that you are wearing, I'm going to keep it. Okay, and I'm going to Toronto, to, and I'm going to do a show there, did you know, the 23rd? Yes, I heard on October 23rd. All in Portuguese. Fala de Portuguese. And perhaps I'll say two or three th things in, in the English language, I don't know yet. That would be great, because we will be attending that. Oh, yes. Yeah, of well, course. Well, Admin, we did some researching on celebrities that we are going to go interview, mm -hmm. and we did some researching on you. And they call you the one-man show. Yeah. Well, let me tell you one thing. I'm a man. And I do the We Report a show. Yeah. So, like, what does it mean to be a one-man show? That's a fine question. Um, uh, the, the real thing is, I'm I'm a, a sex icon. <laughs> what, well, the, what they really love about me is my body. The rest doesn't <laughs> count, you know. And of course, I I tell a couple of jokes, but the main event is when I get all undressed. And uh, <laughs> old ladies go berserk about well, me. Well, old you, ladies, right. Well, yeah. I can see they love gardens, too. Uh, absolutely. No, this is from my mother. It's from the, the, um, the sofas. The so yes, the sofas. The, uh, no, it's okay. Will you be getting naked this show? No, unfortunately not. Only, oh. only uh, in, in Christmas. It's my Christmas special. Christmas special, yes. Oh, Christmas special <laughs> show. Oh, okay. no, well, answering your question, I think w really being a one-man show is uh, being able to tell jokes, to interview people, to play the piano, the guitar, uh, sing. I love music. I started a, as a musician, and that, and and uh, being able to get home and cook somebody to to the, the people you you love, and perhaps. Um, Speak as many languages as you do? Yes, that's that's very, very important to speak languages. Well, in Toronto... It's important for you. you. You have to keep up with your Portuguese. You, you shouldn't lose it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, how many languages do you speak now that you mentioned that? Uh, I, I speak six normal languages and five body languages. Body? Yes. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I, absolutely nothing. I, ju I was just testing your uh, attention. Oh, I love that. Well, in Toronto, they would call you the triple threat because you do so many things at one time. That's exactly what they say. Yeah, yes. Exactly. Uh -huh. how, how did they say there? The triple? Triple, triple threat. threat. Ah, the triple threat. Mm -hmm. Well, we good. Yes. Well, we also did more research on Edmund Jose, yeah. and we also found out that you come here and do your show, and you do a spectacular job, and everybody there says that well, since you're a one-man show, how do you memorize everything? Well, we have a very nice help nowadays called the uh, AutoCue, which is a place where you put your... It puts the words there. Yes, the words reason, there. You write your own there. texts and you, you, you wow. don't have to have everything by heart. But of course, if you're doing a live show, you have to know everything by and, heart. And each song, each music, each chord, 
and uh, it's a work like uh, doctors work and yeah we, work. we know your feeling yes. well Edmund you interview international stars you may be the only man in Portugal that has the ability to interview international stars so now let me ask you this question that might end your career okay yes. why haven't you interviewed us the we reporters before because we are international stars I, I couldn't dare it's too much for me too much? No, yes, yes. Why are yeah. we too strong? Yes, too strong, yes. My limit is sting, Tony Bennett. Uh, more than that, I can't cope with it. I guess we're too good. Yes, oh. absolutely. And by the way, could you give me some, uh, some tips, some advice to become as good as you? Yeah, because like, you're amazing. We see you in Algarve, which is the south of Portugal, and the north of Portugal, everywhere. What do you do, teleport? Yes, <laughs> uh, sometimes teleport, yes. But the, the main uh, advice I would give to you is don't get old. <laughs> Don't get old. Yes, you have uh, at your age. You have a, a, sp a light, some sparkling, uh, something that one loses when one gets older, and and when when that happens, it's bad for you. For well, you. Well, I don't think you didn't. Ah, we said the same thing. Uh, inside, I'm as old as he is. I'm constantly doing practical jokes and saying silly things. And that's the, the main thing you shouldn't lose in life is your happiness and your, the things you have as a child that sometimes you forget to, while the time is passing on. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Edmund. Thank you. You're very bright young people, and it was lovely meeting you. Thank you for uh, getting an interview. Uh -huh. Well, now we're going to... Some presents, so nice. Yes, that's true. We have a wee reporter shirt for you, Lovely. right? Your size. Don't worry. It even has with a, g a garden if you want. You can put it on top. Yes, X X X X X L. And this is your wee reporter's uh, hat that matches nice. with the shirt. I have an enormous head. head, but I noticed. You, you did. Okay, it'll fit. Oh, but yeah, it, it, it does fit. Great. And okay, we'll meet uh, the 23rd of October. That's right. Are you trying to copy my style, like? With the glasses thing? Yes, and Harry Potter copies, copies you too. Yeah, I think so too. Well, until October 23rd, guys, we'll see Edmund Jose there. Thank you so much, Edmund. Thank you, young people. Until then. How do you, th you go like this. Cha -bam. Cha bam One more time. Cha bam, Cha -bam. Cha -bam. Louder. Okay. One, two, three. Cha bam That's right. Thank you, Edmund.